Hello Gemini, this is Renee and this is a bonus reading for you. We're going to take a look at who is your next romantic partner. Um, who is the next big romance that's coming into your life? What are their characteristics? We're going to go into a little bit of detail. Who this person is, maybe what they do as a profession. Um, we're also going to take a look at where this connection is going and get some advice. So first of all, we're going to take a look at your energy and then we're going to look at this person's energy. So Gemini, what do we have? What is this new romance? What is your current energy towards this romance? We have surround yourself with your soul tribe. So Gemini, I feel like you're being very social at the moment. You're like hanging out with friends. You're being a free spirit, like like who you are. And I feel like you're caring about yourself at the moment. I feel like you are really doing the work, caring for yourself. You may be taking a lot of time out for yourself. You may be meditating. You may be just looking into your spirituality. whatever that means to you um, but I feel like you are really focused on yourself your friends and your family at the moment now the person that has a romantic interest about you they're in this positive energy they're remaining positive and it may be the reason why they want to pursue this relationship at the moment because they that they're in this positive energy at the moment and they see you Gemini they see your positivity about your social you know influence they see this aura about you and they want to know more they're kind of skeptical can Gemini really be this positive all the time you know can this Gemini really be outgoing um, fun, exciting. You know, I think that's how you're coming across to this person. You're coming across to this person as very fun, inviting, very social, um, kind of the social butterfly of the situation. Tell me more about this romantic person. What are your feelings towards this romantic person? Okay, Gemini, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So yeah, Gemini, you may really feel like this person is a new opportunity, a new adventure, a new journey, a new destination that you haven't been to yet. I feel like this person, that that's how they make you feel. Now, how do you make this person feel? Tell me what this person thinks about Gemini. What does this person think about Gemini? What does this person think about Gemini? Look inside yourself. Imagine, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So I feel like this person is kind of having second thoughts. They're like, where is this situation going? I'm not sure. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of cards, so. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, I, I feel like you're, you're kind of keeping this person surprised, Gemini. You're really keeping this person surprised. Okay, we have, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and your memories and you have shared, that you have shared with those you love. So I feel like this person, this person is kind of having an epiphany. This person is thinking about the future. They may be ready to settle down, ready to make a commitment, ready to make a soul contract with someone because they feel like 
you know, this is the this is where they are in life. They want to feel real love before they leave this earth. Let's see. You know what? I'm gonna get one more. But yeah, I, I feel like this person is ready to commit to love. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So yeah, I, that's exactly what I feel like this person is doing. I feel like they're, they're, they're taking this inner soul journey. And they're finding out what it really means to be true to themselves. To really trust themselves enough to take a leap of faith. Um, I, I feel like this person is ready to commit. They're ready to go the next level in love. You know. Tell me more about this person that's coming into Gemini's life. Tell me more about this person. Who is this romantic person coming into Gemini's life? Tell me more about this person. Yeah, we have the judgment. Okay, so th this person may have just had a life or death situation. Um, I feel like they're going through some kind of new rebirth. This person feels alive. They feel rejuvenated, revived. Um, like I said, I feel like they may have had some kind of near-death experience that's leading them to this, these new thoughts, these decisions. Um, but I feel like they're very, they're very passionate. They're very driven on what they want. They've set their mind to a certain outcome and now they're ready to pursue it. It's like they've planned out their future and now they're like checking off the list. Okay, I've done this, check, done that, check, done this, check, want love, check. You know, I, I feel like they're, they're setting their priorities. <laughs> this person may be a list maker, definitely. But I feel like they're, they're very passionate about life. They're very passionate about life. Okay, yeah, we have the Two of Cups. So this person is definitely ready for love. They're ready to make that commitment. They want a partnership. They want a union in their life. They, they want to take that next step. <clears throat> okay, we also have the Queen of Pentacles. So this person, they're very resourceful. They may be... Um, They're also very wise. They're very smart. They also may be in the financial industry, but I feel like this person is very resourceful. They're very resourceful. This person, I feel like they put money away for certain things in their life. They've made plans. They've set money aside. They're, they may be a saver. This person may be in accounting or some kind of financial background. They may invest. But I, I feel like this person, they're, they're thinking towards the future. And I feel like they, they're, they're investing into the future. This person is definitely a saver. They're definitely thinking long term. That, like I said, I feel like this person may be an investor. They, they may have something to do with the, the financial industry. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Definitely. This person, 
this person may have a lot of money. They may have a lot of stability. They may be very independent. They may have been single for a while. But I feel like they're very focused. This person is very focused on business. Very wise. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, yeah, so this person this person has made a lot of changes. They're they're focused on their good fortune. They've turned a, a new leaf, you know. For some reason I feel like this person this person may also like to go to the casino. They like to gamble a bit. Hmm. Interesting. That's what I'm getting from this person. This person is a wise investor, but I feel like they 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 make a gamble. They take chances. Seven of Cups. Definitely, this person is ready to make a choice. Where in the past, I feel like they may not have wanted to commit to certain situations. Maybe that's the reason why this person has been single for a while. Um, but I feel like this person is now ready to commit. This person is ready to make those changes. I feel like whatever they've been through has changed their mind. Now, we have the Eight of Wands, but we have that in reverse. So I feel like this person is very quiet. They may be a little withdrawn. They may be um, kind of standoffish at first, you know, and or they, they may have a lot of times when they just withdraw, um, like they like they're going within, you know. And I think those are the times when this person is really deep in thought. Because I feel like this person's mind is always moving. You know what I mean? But I feel like even though their mind is always moving, they don't constantly speak their thoughts. They don't talk a lot. They, I mean, I, I, I understand this person communicates. But I don't think they're a huge talker. I think they, they say what they mean. They mean what they say. But they're, they're not into a huge communication. They may not like to talk on the telephone, for instance. Or they may not like long communications or long conversations. They, you may find this person as, you know, being a pinnacle, being of the earth, and there's a lot of pinnacles in this in this reading. You may find this person as kind of boring at first, you know, but this person is very stable. This person is very reliable. They're very trustworthy, but th this person is just not a big talker. They just don't communicate a lot. Okay, we have the Empress, but this person is very attractive. This person is very attractive, and I feel like this person is a manifester. This person can create whatever they want. They have those resources to, to create what they want out of life. I feel like they have that ability. 
And like I said, I feel like this person is very attractive. They also may be very passionate. Now, like I said, I don't think like they're a huge communicator, but once you break down that wall, and once you get to know this person and this person opens up with you, that may change. But at first, I feel like this person comes off as, you know, kind of boring, kind of dull, doesn't really want to communicate much, um, but they are very attractive. So, let's see what this person, let's see a little bit more about this person. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person coming into Gemini's life, this new romantic interest. Tell me more about this person. Okay. This may be someone that you've known from the past. This may be someone that's... Maybe returning. Have you met this person already? Have you... For some reason, and I don't know, I'm. you may think I'm crazy for saying this, but... For some reason, I'm feeling like this was a one-night stand. This was a one-night stand. You may not even have known this person very well. But I feel like they want to get to know you better. And now, they, they don't know how to approach you. Because... If it was a one night stand, it may be a little awkward to approach you, you know, to, to, to want to get to know you better. Like I said, I feel like this person is quiet. They don't communicate much. They're kind of withdrawn at times. Yeah, they may be a little back and forth. They may have people around them that are like giving them bad advice. But this person misses you. They saw something in you. They saw something in you. And it could be that they were in a relationship. I need to be honest. I'm ending this to be with you. So th they could have, this could have been a one night stand that you were going through. And they they found that they miss you. There's something in you, Gemini, that's kind of drawing them back. Now they need to be honest with you. They want to end whatever it is that, whatever situation that they're in right now, they want to end it to be with you. They want to, they want to pursue something with you, something that they find very interesting, that they find very intriguing. Yeah, they may have seen that you were in need of some kind of healing. You were in need of some kind of healing. Hmm. And I don't think you've had contact with this person since this interaction. But this person wants to come back. They definitely want to come back. They, they want to have an interaction with you. You may turn this non-talker into a talker, Gemini. Because you just have that way about you. Your positivity. Your, you know, your social status. Yeah, girl talk. So this person may be talking about their friends about you. Or this may be this person able to speak to you like a friend 
they're able to open up to you. Lightning. Yeah, lightning has struck. Lightning has struck this person. And you, Gemini, are that lightning. You're that lightning bringing this sudden change to this person's life. This person is ready to give up whatever they have going on right now. They're, they're willing to give that up to be with you. Whatever they got going on, they're willing to give it up to be with you. I feel like you've made that kind of um, impression on this person. You've impressed this person so very much. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person's spirit. Tell me more about this person. The Nine of Swords. Yeah. This person isn't... They're kind of fearful that you won't want to give them the time of day. I feel like you make this person anxious in a way. You make this person very nervous, Gemini. This person is intimidated by you. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person is intimidated by you. They, they feel like you're going to hurt them. You're going to break their heart. You're going to betray them. They feel like you're Gemini. You're beautiful. You have this beautiful soul. You're very social. They, they feel like you're going to break their heart. Yeah, the Queen's of, Queen of Wands. They feel like you're very passionate. Very sexual. Very tempting. So that they feel like they're not going to be able to keep your attention for very long. They feel like they're not good enough to keep your attention. Very interesting, Gemini. Okay. Well, Gemini, this is your reading. Um, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And Happy New Year, Gemini. Many blessings to you. Love and light.